Sixth grade, module four, lesson three, classwork. Opening exercise. Write two different expressions that can be depicted by the tape diagram shown. One expression should include addition, while the other should include multiplication. All right, A, we have three, three, and three. So this, to me, looks like three plus three plus three. So there's one expression that's shown using addition. And if we wanted to write it in a multiplication expression, we have three groups of three. So three times three. B, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus another eight, eight plus eight. We have two groups of eight, which would be two times eight. And then the last one, we have five plus five plus five, which is three groups of five, three times five. Exercises, write the addition sentence that describes the model and the multiplication sentence that describes the model. Okay, so we have five here, five here, and five here. So that would be equal to five plus five plus five. If we wanna write it as an expression, we would write it as we have three groups of five, so three times five. Number two, write an expression, equivalent expression to demonstrate the relationship of multiplication and addition. So six plus six, we have two groups of six, so two times six. Three plus three plus three, we have one, how many threes? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six groups of three. Six times three. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, five groups of four. Six times two, so we have six groups of two. So two plus two plus two plus, that's four and six twos. Four times six, so we have four group, four sixes. So six plus six plus six plus six. Three times nine. We have three groups of nine. Nine plus nine plus nine. H plus H plus H plus H plus H. So that would look like we have one, two, three, three, four, five, we have five times h, or we would just write it as five h, because when you have a variable and you're multiplying it by a number, you just write them next to each other. And then six y, we have six groups of y, so y plus y plus y plus y plus y, so there's six y's. Number three, Roberto is not familiar with tape diagrams and believes that he can show the relationship of multiplication and addition on a number line. Help Roberto demonstrate that the expression three times two is equivalent to two plus two plus two on the number line. All right, so I'm gonna draw a number line and start at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll go up to eight. So what we're gonna show that three groups of two is equivalent to two plus two plus two. So if I wanted to do three groups of two, I'd start at zero, I have one group of two, another group of two would get me to four, and then a third group of two would get me to six. So that's equal to six, so this is equal to three times two. If I wanted to show it using addition, I could do the same thing where I start at zero and then I add two. So two plus two more gets me to four plus two more gets me to six. So the similar, the, Number lines look similar, 
but you can see how we're doing essentially the same thing when we're multiplying as when we're adding um, multiple of the same number together. So if we want to kind of explain that, let's say both number lines start at zero and end at six. So they are equivalent. They being the expressions. Number four, tell whether the following equations are true or false, then explain your reasoning. Okay, so we have x plus 6g minus 6g is equal to x. If you're not sure, what I like to do is just put in numbers for x and g. So I'm going to say x is equal to 2 and g is equal to 3. It doesn't have to be complicated. So we have 2 plus 6g. 6g meaning 6 times 3 minus 6 times 3 equals 2. What we have is 2 plus 18 minus 18 is equal to 2. Now, do you notice that this is what we were working on in lessons 1 and 2? This is the identity of um, addition. Because if we add 18 and then subtract 18, that just goes down to 0. So it's like adding nothing. So we can say that this is true. because it is the addition identity. And b, 2f minus 4e plus 4e equals 2f. So again, I'm just going to put in some random numbers. So let's make f3 and e4. So 2f times 3 minus 4e, I'm going to run out of room. So 2 times 3 minus 4 times 4 plus 4 times 4 is equal to 2 times 3. So 6 minus 16 plus 16 is equal to 6. So here again, we have minus 16 plus 16, which is going to end up being 0. So it's just 6 is equal to 6. So this is demonstrating the subtraction identity. So this is true because it shows the subtraction identity. Number five, write an equivalent expression to demonstrate the relationship between addition and multiplication. Okay, so what we have here is one, two, three, four sixes and one, two, three, fours. So we have four groups of six and then we have three groups of 4 and we have those added together. I'm going to say 4 times 6 plus 3 times 4. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3 D's. So I'm instead of saying 3 times D, I'm just going to write 3 D because it's a variable next to a number that we're multiplying by. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 W's. So 3d plus 5w. And lastly, we have 1, 2a's plus 1, 2, 3b's plus 1, 2, 3, 4 c's. 2a plus 3b plus 4c. 
that is all.